And now we want to check in with meteorologist Amber Lee with the, maybe a little rain in the forecast, Amber. Amy, you're right. We have two shots of possible rain later on this week. But before we even get to that, we first have to get through the weekend. We do have a hazy morning right now to start off the day. This is a shot from one of our Mount Wilson cameras looking at downtown LA. This is a nice view. However, you can see we do have some haze mixed in. The reason for that is because we do have uh, a dense fog advisory still in place over the Southland that should expire within the next half hour or so. But I also want to um, reiterate how desperately we need rain. So far this year, we've only seen just over an inch of rain. Normally this time of year, we should already be receiving more than 10 inches of rain. So we are more than nine inches down and we're hoping that this next bout of rain, we actually have the two chances, will help us out. But again, it's not going to put a big dent on uh, our problem right now because we are so far behind. We do have some high clouds lingering overhead. We have a little bit of a circular eddy pushing in more of that marine layer. So that is why this morning we woke up to some very great conditions, especially if you live by the coast areas like Malibu and also Santa Monica, the South Bay, Long Beach, but the clouds are starting to thin out. So the dense fog advisory should be lifting within the next 45 minutes or so. This is a live look at Long Beach, the Bay. Earlier they were socked in with fog. We're starting to see uh, much clearer conditions. And the reason for that is because of the sea breeze, the sea breeze has returned. So that's going to cool us down as we head into the weekend. We'll see much more cloud cover as we head into Sunday. And again, two shots for rain. 54 degrees right now in downtown LA, 55 for LAX, 54 for Riverside, low 50s also for Van Nuys and Fullerton, and it's 51 degrees right now in Oxnard. The ridge of high pressure has sat here for the last couple of days, bringing us the above normal temperatures. It's going to do the same again today, just not quite as warm as yesterday. And we're going to see that marine layer being pushed right back again as we head into the evening period. I want to show you the future cast, what's happening with the cloud cover by about just after lunch, we're going to start to see some high clouds, patchy low clouds and fog for some areas. And then later on this evening, more of the high clouds stream through. The marine layer returns. It's going to stay with us through tomorrow morning. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see some clearing, mostly sunny conditions by Sunday afternoon. 74 degrees will be the high today, still five degrees above average. Normally, we're topping out at 69 degrees uh, during this time of February. 54 degrees will bottom out again, low clouds and fog returning. And for Redlands, you will top out at 75 degrees, going down just slightly as we head into tomorrow. So temperatures today, already you can see a difference, mainly in the 70s and 60s. Yesterday, we saw temperatures in the 80s and 70s. Upper 70s for the Inland Empire, upper 70s for Burbank, upper 60s for Long Beach, low 70s for Irvine, upper 70s for Santa Clarita and Northridge, and 70 degrees today for Thousand Oaks. Here's a look at the next seven days. Temperatures get to near normal conditions by Monday. In the upper 60s, we stay that way. And the reason for that is because we're waiting for the two storm systems to roll through. So we have a good shot of rain late Wednesday into Thursday, just some light rain, tenth of an inch or less. And then the stronger storm will arrive at the end of the week, late Friday into Saturday. And right now they're saying, Amy, anywhere from maybe an inch to an inch and a half. For some higher elevations, we could see more for the mountain terrain. And then it's also going to drop snow levels down to about 6,500 feet, which is good news for some of the ski resorts because I know uh, it's been pretty dry this season. But again, we're looking at moisture, crossing our fingers, our toes, everything else that we could cross because we really need this moisture. Back to you. We do need it, Amber. It's unfortunate that it will only be an inch and we need, what, 10 you said. Yeah. So we'll see what happens.